Hey everybody, hope you're doing well today. It's Eric from the MMG. We're going to show you how to set up an Eco dedicated server. Eco is a survival game that is really fun. It's really in-depth and the environment matters in this game. So you don't just go around and harvest everything and destroy everything. You have to be very careful with what you're doing. And it's got a lot of cooperative options and play. I really like this game and I haven't played it for about look like five years when last time I looked so we are going to check this out but I'm going to show you today how to set up your own dedicated server and so if you own this game on Steam this is the easiest way and I think everybody probably has it on Steam um, you just need to type it in here and you'll have access to the eco server dedicated servers so type in eco and then you'll see eco server down here I'm going to click on that we're going to install that it's only about 500 megabytes all right now if you uh, have it installed you should be good to go. You just need to click on it and click launch. All right, it should pop up a couple boxes like you're seeing here. Let's uh, move these down to make them a little bit more center to make it easier. All right, once you get logged in, it should show that you logged in up here. You know that's correct. It's still trying to finish the mod kit plugin, so you just want to be patient and let it load. All right, once it's finished loading through this, you should get another pop up, and here's your actual settings for the server. Here, bring it to the middle so you can see the initial setup is right here. These are all base settings and change them if you want. Maintenance. Most of you people are probably going to keep this stuff the same. This is if it's a public server or not. So false means it's a private server. That makes it a public server. If you're going to do a public server, you probably want to put a password on it unless you want anyone. Here's the name of the server. You can change that server category so there are different categories if you want to play with beginners established beginning beginner hard or strange here's your server ports your web ports your archon ports all your ports right here um this is the default ports these are the ones you're gonna to have to open in your firewall or your router to probably be able to host this since it's going through steam it may be the steam forwarding thing you may be good but if people can't connect to it you probably are going to have to forward these ports all right here's a storage tab this is the save name you want to change it, frequency, cleanup files on exceptions, storage. Here's the cloud. And here's your users. Up here, there's even more settings, lots of gameplay stuff. You can really modify these servers in this game. So you can change the balance, civics, difficulty, all kinds of things in here. See here, there's a lot of options. Performance, they've added a lot to this. This is really a, a nice way to host this game. And, you know, once you're good, you're good. So... Here's, here's a routing you can scan. That's pretty cool. Once you have everything set the way it is and saved, you should be able to join your server. So we're going to try to do it from the same machine here. Let's see what happens. All right, once you get logged in here, you're going to want to go to your worlds. And you should see your LAN server right here, which is the one we just created. There it is, and it is password protected, so we know that's there as well. Now, if you're not on a LAN and you have to search for it, once you get through that, you can choose a world, and you can also look for ones to join. Click on filters here. You can filter by players, all kinds of stuff here. You'd want to click Browse All, and then you search here, and ours was called Logic Bomb Server, so we're going to type in Logic Bomb, and there is the server if you need to search for it manually. So that's how friends would be able to join it. All right, that wraps it up. That's how you can set up your very own eco server, how you can join it and play with friends. Thanks for watching, everybody. Have yourself a great day.